communication with administration? Well, I think um, I need to know from Dr. Littlefield what, what the expectations are. Um, in the past, I have emailed uh, principals and received answers from them. The last time I emailed them, I received a uh, response from Dr. Littlefield. Sometimes when I email Dr. Littlefield, I receive no response, not even recognition that he's received an email. Now, I understand if Dr. Littlefield does not wish to enter into discussion with me or answer my questions, but I think at least an acknowledgement of that would let me know that he's received it and what his position is. Um, I don't think that we should have selective response to email if we're going to, you know, are, are we, do we have access to ask the principal's questions or if everything is going to go through the superintendent, then I think everything should go through the superintendent, not simply emails from one person or you know, one subject. And, I, and I'm kind of looking for what the policy is about that. If we have a policy or, or whether Dr. Littlefield has a policy of his administration about what to do. I, I know there's been a lot of discussion this evening about you know public and the public having input. And, my concern for since I've been on this board is, is email communication, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I, uh, I think we do far too, too much of it. And, and you know what? I, I think we're doing a disservice uh, to the public uh, by doing that. So, you know, that said, I'm going to throw a motion out there that we discontinue email communications to the administration, board to administration, and that all, all uh, discussion points be handled in the public forum in the meeting. I, I, I need that a little more. So the motion is that the no more that emails no will more emails be from board to administration will be sent from the board members to administration. And all inquiries be handled in the public forum. discussion that happens uh, in, uh, uh, via email. Uh, I know I've sent out cautions a number of times about deliberation and, and I guess we could we could all give an interpretation of exactly what a deliberation is but I, I don't I don't like it and uh, uh, again I think we're doing a disservice to the to the uh, uh, public because a lot of the items that we're communicating on. We probably don't talk about uh, in, in meetings because we're satisfied at that point. And you know what? The item should be brought up in public. If the administration needs to do research, then they'll ask for uh, a certain amount of time to get back to the board. And I, I, you know, I think that's the way it, it's it, 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 it's more efficient that way. And again, I'll, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, better better served in public. So, your your motion, Dana, is is everything. So we're we're not to um, email the administration about uh, upcoming meeting dates. I can't come to the meeting. Um, I'll be late. Any of these? I would say those could go board board to board. You're not going to you know, you're going to be late for a meeting. You send it to me. So you're saying that no board member or sends anything to the superintendent or any of the teachers or administration? Uh, board related or items. Board related items, yes. I'm not going to say you couldn't, you couldn't you know, ask something about your student, but uh, that, 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 that would be absurd. But board related items that <coughs> should be handled in the public forum. So if I have a question about uh, network security. Public. But if I have a question about network security as a parent, then I can go right ahead and email it. As a, as a, as a parent or 
Back. That's what I said. Okay. I just want to be clear because I don't want to misquote you in my email. We'll, 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 we'll play because it back. Dana, I asked the question as many times as needs to be asked. And if you find that objectionable, then that's your problem. Because I don't take pat answers when I'm, when I'm asking a question. I'm trying to get to the bottom of something. I'm going to ask some questions. And I don't feel that I've ever harassed the administration. I have never heard from the administration with any objections. I have seen the administration not answer my emails when the questions get tough. But I have never seen any um, accusation of harassment from him. And if you're going to make an accusation of harassment, I wish you would bring something forth. Because I would not make empty accusations about your behavior without bringing some proof. Just like I did tonight, when I, when I disapproved of your behavior at the last meeting in the vote, I brought you the video so that you can see what I was talking about. And you can, you can view it, and other people can view it, and they can assess it. So if you're, if you're going to make that uh, accusation, I wish you'd bring something forth to show the public um, emails that I have sent you that you feel are harassing, unprofessional, and you to it. I would appreciate that. I'll add too that they get edited when they get posted, which I don't like. They, they get piecemeal. There'll be there'll be cuts and paste from from emails that go in, which if you don't if you don't read the entire email, you don't get the whole gist of the situation. And know. if you can tell me quite honestly that you don't cut and paste emails and put portions in certain quotes when the entire email is is is, is uh, if it's read, would change the intent of it, then... Again, Dana, I wish you'd bring specifics forward, because yeah. what's your in interpretation of cutting and pasting and changing the context may be very different from what I think. No, I can't think of those in, in, in offhand, and I can tell you I don't intentionally do that. I get it for length, if I want to post something. But uh, I have no problem with anyone seeing any of my emails, and I have no problem with anybody taking one line out of them or two and putting three together. I have nothing to hide from being on this board. Patricia? Cheryl was first, actually. Cheryl, I'm sorry. Um, I think it's really important that it comes to this. Um, I know that I've seen emails that made me uncomfortable that if I was an employee of Thomas District and I am an employee of uh, town, I would be very uncomfortable if the council member was um, sending me those emails. Um, and I would know really what my recourse is. Uh, so I think it's unfortunate that it has to come to this. Um, I wish it could be that we could email each other fairly and understandably and respect each other. Cheryl, are you talking about my emails? I'm talking about emails that I've seen. From me? 
they want two pink. I've seen emails that go back and forth with questions. From me? Mm -hmm. Well, I wish you'd be call because you're now accusing me of sending out things that are improper. And but David, you are improper. You have harassed Matt Woodrow for months because you don't like the way he answers a question. And I, 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 if that makes me liable for using his name, then I'm liable. I find it harassing that you emailed me personally on my school district email to ask me to justify my vote. As another school board member, we are school board members when we're here. That's it. You have cut and pasted things Dana has said and other people have said on hoaxed issues. You post on hoaxed issues that I didn't get back to this committee, I didn't get back on this information or that information, when they are all committees that you came to the board and said you would do, and then when the vote didn't go your way, you took your ball and went home. You're doing the same thing with the assessment committee, and you say it's, we're not listening to the public. Mrs. Perkins, you were the one that sat here and said we were not going to be personal. You've said that many times. <coughs> you have now just put words in my mouth and, and, and David, given me not. intentions here. You're stating my intentions for what I did. You said that I harassed Matt Woodrow. I've asked Matt, I've asked Matt Woodrow technical questions after researching that. These are not baseless questions. I talked to, to representatives. I've asked questions about specific devices. I don't go around saying Matt doesn't know what he's doing. I've never said that. I'm asking technical questions about the equipment that we own as a district. That's not harassment. That is your interpretation that it's not harassment. It is my interpretation that you have harassed Matt Woodrow. Well, I guess, Mrs. Corpus, you are, you know, you have your own um, impression of what I've done. I'm here as an oversight member of this board to ask questions to the administration about how the school is operating. I you're don't, a policy I, board. I, you're an oversight board as well. I do not ask questions generally that I haven't researched and I want to find out more information. You know, if you choose not to do that and you choose not to find out about those things, that's, that's not my issue. But I think we're pretty far off of the motion at this point. And um, any further discussion on the motion? We have a motion on the floor. Read that, Dana. Dana, I wrote a motion that no more emails will be sent from board members to administration and all inquiries be handled in a public form. Second by Sharon. Is that the motion? All in favor of approving that motion is read. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. 